your first alert forecast. Temperatures outside this morning, you guessed it, they're in the mid and upper 70s inland. It's a warm and muggy start to the day. Right now, 77 in Jacksonville and in Lake City. We have 75 in Folkestone and Waycross. And then coastal temperatures are in the upper 70s and low 80s. So if you're headed out to the beach this morning to maybe take the dog for a walk, go for a jog before you get your weekend started, it's going to be warm, it's going to be humid, and you are going to be sweating. We have a little bit of fog out there, especially along I-75. Valdosta, your visibility is down to one mile. So if you are going to travel north from Lake City along I-75, you'll likely see some of that lowered visibility. Also, a little bit of a haze in Brunswick, but with seven-mile visibility, that shouldn't cause you too much of an issue on the roads. I'll continue to check back in here with the visibility all morning long, and I'll let you know if I see any issues that could impact your travel. Right now, no rain on the 5 Sweet First Alert Doppler HD. We're looking at a dry start to the day, but that is going to change as we get towards lunchtime. So again today, similar to yesterday and the day before, we're already going to see showers and storms in parts of the area as early as noon. By 7.30 this morning, we're just looking at a partly sunny start to the day, but by noon, we're starting to see scattered showers developing across the area, and those are going to be a bit farther east than what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, we had showers in Lake City by noon. Today, we're going to see them through our coastal counties, and then by 2 to 2.30, we start to see those strengthening into stronger thunderstorms with the heavy downpours, frequent lightning, and strong wind gusts. So this could impact your lunch hour with some showers and especially the tail end of that lunch hour. Maybe you're leaving work a little bit early on your Friday. You are going to be dealing with those showers and storms. During the 5 o'clock commute, we'll see those showers and storms moving a bit farther inland, but they'll impact you along I-10 and parts of Columbia County, Baker County, also Union and Bradford. You'll be seeing those storms during the evening commute. And then by 8 o'clock, maybe you're going to a late evening dinner where showers and storms are starting to diminish. And if you have Friday night plans, 1030, we're looking at just a partly cloudy sky for overnight tonight. We're tracking the tropics. It has been a fairly quiet hurricane season so far. Right now, though, we do have an area of low pressure or a tropical wave. This thing is way out there, about a thousand miles west southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. And so far showing fairly low potential for development, but that could increase as we go through the weekend. So, of course, we'll be checking back here throughout the weekend and keeping you updated over the next couple of days. So far, though, I'm expecting little to no impact here along our coast from that system. Your first alert seven day forecast with the weekend always in view. Scattered storms today, a high of 94, but it will feel as hot as 104. Saturday and Sunday, both days expecting those scattered storms. So keep the umbrella handy if you have afternoon plans. And if you want to get out and enjoy your weekend outside, the earlier the better. 93 is your high on Saturday. Sunday up to 95 degrees. Then Monday and Tuesday, temperatures stay in the mid and upper 90s. We'll see our storm coverage decreasing a bit as we head into the start of next week. You can go to our website, actionnewsjacks.com, for updates throughout the day on your first alert forecast. Your time now is 451. First alert traffic is monitoring the roads for you this morning. This is a live look at I-10 at Cassett Avenue from our DOT camera. Just a couple of cars on the roads this Friday morning. We are giving it a green light. Derek Odom is looking at other roads right